How are you doing everyone? It's David Michael. Um, if I look the same as my last video, um, it's because I'm filming it the same day. Um, but in order to shake things up a bit, and make it look a bit different, I put a hat on. I know. Cheers everyone. All right, so I've been kind of hesitant to do a seal to reveal video um, for a couple of reasons, but mainly because um, I have a tendency of uh, fucking up my videos and I've had to refilm a couple times. The camera falls, runs out of power, things like that. And I'm kind of realizing that in a seal to reveal video, there's kind of, it's one take, unless you want to, you know, have to spend time doing edits and stuff. And I don't want to do that today. So we're going to try to do this in one take. All right. What we're going to open today is a 31 year old box set from one of my favorite artists. Um, I got this uh, about two years ago at a record fair for 20 bucks sealed. And for whatever reason, I just haven't opened it. I have the CD version um, over there that you can't see. And that's the one I play um, in the car and all that. Um, I've always been waiting for the right time. Um, and then on, on the YouTube vinyl community that I'm on, I, I kind of, I'll post a photo of it and I'll tease that this is the night I'm going to open it and all right and then something happens I get called away or I have to do something with my son and it, it just kind of never happened but I'm going to do it today so let's do this okay before I change my mind Bruce Springsteen live 75 to 85 it's 31 years old it's a 5 LP set there, as you can see the hype stickers there you can see the camera there I think a lot of you are familiar with this um, this album. Um, probably one of my favorite live albums. And we got the knife. And we're gonna open this, like I said, before I chicken out. <laughs> All right, so um, I'm trying to figure out a way to, to slice this without uh, nicking it, so. Where's the seam here? All right, here we go. We got the seam. All right, um, I try to save the hype stickers when I can. Um, if I can't peel it off cleanly um, and put it on the album cover itself, because um, you know, if it's an album I'm gonna keep forever, I don't care if the sticker's on, right on the album, I, I'm not gonna flip it, I'm not gonna sell it, so it's mine for life, right? Um, if I can't do that, or if it's an album that um, I think maybe down the line I'll trade or something or sell, um, usually I cut, you know, like, like a lot of you, I cut around it and I'll put it inside the box. So I'm gonna to try to um, pr preserve the hype sticker. There we go. All right, we got it. I'm an old pro, aren't I? All right, so there's the box. And for the first time in 31 years, this thing is going to see air. All right, the box just slides off. Easy enough. Inside, what we've got is we got a booklet. Looks like a pretty big booklet too. Pretty nice, it's almost like a tour book. We got lyrics, as you can see there. So that's pretty cool. I've, uh, I've read these liner notes in the CD box set, but obviously as they're CD, they're shrunk. So with my horrible bad eyes, I might actually be able to read this and understand what's being printed inside. All right. Oh, there's no download code. That's a, that's a bad joke, isn't it? Five records. So, I don't know which record this one is. Let's find out. So basically, as I'm not really worried about warps, um, like a lot of people are when they do sealed to reveal videos. Um, um, I, I've sure bought my fair share of sealed vinyl that are, that's 30 years old, and um, the shrink wrap compresses it, and um, you have to watch out for warps. But this has been safely inside a box with no compression, so I'm going to seriously doubt these are 
have worked at all. And they are not. Perfectly, beautifully clean. Record two. Yeah, look at that. Unlike today, there's no fingerprints or no scuff marks. I think this is uh, mid 80s when they knew how to press vinyl still. I'm sure a lot of you active vinyl buyers will know that sometimes it's a crapshoot when you open a new vinyl these days and there's not fingerprints or scuffs on them from careless handling. Record. This is record three. What are we got on this one? This one uh, has Badlands, Because of the Night, Darkness in the Edge of Town, Nebraska, Johnny 99. Perfectly clean. Nice. Oh, okay, I didn't notice that. That's a super nice picture of Clarence Clemens there on the previous record. The big man sorely missed. I don't think anyone could play a horn like he could in, in, in the rock music field anyways. All right, record four. This one has Born in the USA, The River, amongst other things, War. Um, Springsteen's cover of War um, probably ranks up there with my favorite cover songs of all time. Um, definitely one of my favorite Springsteen songs, period. And it's the song that kind of it made me, when I saw that video on MTV, um, that video was on every 15 minutes, it seemed. Um, it, it literally made me beg for m money for my parents. Um, when this came out, I was um, in my first year of being a teenager. So do the math and you can tell I'm old as fuck. Um, I had to beg the money for my parents. And I think I went and bought the cassette version, actually, now that I think of it, when I was young. But war. Um, and I saw Springsteen um, in my city um, on the Rising Tour. And he did war. And I almost lost my... I almost lost my fucking head. I was so excited. Um, so yeah, what else is this? Darlington County, the promised land, working on the highway. Clean, clean as a whistle. Okay. And this is the last record. Um, Cover Me's on this, My Hometown, Bobby Jean, Born to Run, 10th Avenue Freeze Out. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I can't believe I'm actually opening this. This has been something that's been two years in the making. Um, as far as Springsteen Live goes, um, I know there's a lot of killer bootlegs out there from uh, um, Passaic, New Jersey. Um, there's one from Los Angeles. That, uh, is it from the Roxy, maybe? Um, as, um, as one shot concerts, there's uh, some incredible, incredible bootlegs out there. Um, as we all know, this is cobbled together from 75 to 85. Um, and for all the, um, I'm not sure this is still the biggest selling box set. It might be still, um, but you know, I think Springsteen fans are so, um, they're so passionate. I remember at the time there was, a, there was a little bit of griping about this song was left off and this recording was left off. But as far as a concert goes, that was cobbled from different performances and not passed off as a complete concert like, um, like a lot of live albums are. Um, Kiss Alive comes to mind. I think that was kind of, well, re-recorded. Um, and it might have been from different shows. I don't remember exactly at the moment. But as far as like a, a live concert um, that is out and out, they, you know, you're going in knowing it's from different concerts it, um, for a career spanning live set. Um, it's my personal opinion that I don't know if it gets any better than this. Um, it's, it's kind of, so I'm just gonna get the booklet here. Excuse me as I go to the frame. I don't, I don't know if it gets any better than this. Um, I mean, I think Springsteen is someone you either love or you just, you're ambivalent about. I don't think with Springsteen there's any kind of half measures. You're, you're either in or out. And um, Born in the USA, that was kind of a lot of gateway albums for a lot of people my age. And then this followed and then I was, I was all in um, as a young person and being a young 13 year old. Um, I don't know if I understood Bruce Springsteen when I was 13. Um, he's one of those artists that I was probably well into my 30s before I kind of got the gist of a lot of his songs. Um, 
I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a lyric person really. I'm more of a music person, how it sounds. But um, at one of my old record stores I used to manage, I, I had a, a, a younger person um, named Ryan. I remember his name. He was super into Springsteen, and he kind of tried to take me through um, a lot of Springsteen songs and what they meant, and what was the subtext, and what was he really trying to say. And, and like I said, when I was 13 and all through my teenage years, I don't think I really got the full um, panoramic picture of what his songs were about. Uh, I just knew they sounded good. Um, but at my age now, um, it's something I, re it's probably one of the rare artists, uh, maybe Neil Finn is someone else. Um, I'm really into his songwriting. And it, it, Springsteen is someone who I take the time and really try to dissect what he's saying. Um, because underneath everything, there's, he always has something to say. Um, so that's what kind of got me into Springsteen, uh, born in the USA, into this live album. And like I said, it wasn't until I, I worked at that record store, um, or I managed that record store, and I had that person working for me who really kind of, he opened up my ears a bit to um, the, the, the different layers of Springsteen, but he's more than just a, an incredible live performer. And it, the songs are more than just good. There's, like I said, many layers to him. So, um, yeah, Bruce Springsteen's Live 75 to 85 was my first ever seal to reveal. And I don't know if, um, I don't know, I don't know if this was any good or not, but there you go. And I hope I didn't ramble on too much about Bruce Springsteen, but um, he's someone that I have a, a, a deep respect for that grows and grows and grows as I get older. Um, so, there you go. Cheers, everyone. I hope you enjoyed my first seal to reveal. I do have other... Um, sealed vintage records in my collection so um if people see this and they like it maybe i'll uh, i'll film some more as time goes on so um like i said that was my first seal to reveal i hope you liked that that was bruce springsteen's live 75 to 85. cheers everyone take care bye bye